What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top five hidden features inside the 2020 Hyundai Palisade. All right, so number one is a little bit more of a literally hidden one. Now, it may or may not be when you get into one uh, of these Palisades off the bat, but it is the cup holders. Now, the, if you open up the center console area here uh, with this little slide to open push button right here, super, super sleek, you will notice that there are uh, what you'd expect to be fully functioning cup holders here, but if you were to put a cup here, I would not uh, recommend moving because it will probably tip over and spill. And that is because these little pads don't have the other side of the cup holder here. Now, this basically just allows you to, if you're not using cup holders, to have more space and not be restricted to the shape of a cup holder, but have that more uh, open square spot. But you'll notice these push buttons right here and you can just hit them right there and they will flip open and provide you with fully functioning cup holders. So that is number one, and you can uh, slide them back if you wanna lock them into place, but number one, uh, retractable cup holders. Now, number two is more of a technology feature than a hidden feature, but if you did uh, not have your menu laid out uh, appropriately or you just didn't go through it very often, you may miss it, and that is driver talk. Now, driver talk basically uses the microphones that are in this vicinity somewhere. I can't exactly pinpoint, but I think they're right here. Uh, it allows you to use those microphones to talk to rear seat passengers without having to turn around and yell back that way and, you know, shake your fist at your kids, uh, kicking each other in the back, uh, but still be able to communicate with them effectively. So if you go ahead and hit driver talk, it automatically starts going and you can, uh, uh, you know, just talk normally, project normally like you would. And in the back, I can already hear it. It's echoing in the back uh, through the speakers, uh, but I'll, I'll put the camera back here so you can kind of tell what I'm talking about. All right, so how driver talk works basically, and I don't know if you can kind of hear it now, it uses the microphones and it's gonna send it to the back so that the rear seat passengers will be able to hear me better. So how I'm gonna help demonstrate this more is I'm gonna actually take my microphone off here. So I've got my microphone now, it's away from my body, so hopefully you can hear me uh, well enough. But basically, like this is what I would sound like if I'm just talking normally and I'm up front, so without it on. Hello, 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 hello. Now I'm gonna take the microphone and I'm gonna put it in the back seat. All right, so I moved the microphone to the back seat uh, into the third row, actually. So it's all the way back there. This is what I would sound like if I if I was trying to talk to someone in the back seat from the front seat without driver talk. If I go ahead and turn driver talk on. Now, now driver, driver talk, talk is on and you can hear what it sounds like when I'm talking through the microphone system into the back seat. Hopefully that gives you guys a good idea kind of what it sounds like. So that is number two, driver talk. Now, in addition to that, there's uh, two other features that I want to mention that kind of have to do with the back seats. Now, when we say hidden, we may think something that's not easily uh, easy to spot. This is not one of those things. It is front and center right here uh, on the next to the 10.25 inch infotainment center. And that is the seat buckle alert system. So number three, seat buckle alert system. And that tells you obviously when someone is not buckled in. Now we're used to seeing this for driver and passenger side, but it actually gives you basically like one of those little sticker families that people put on the back of their SUVs. It looks kind of like that. There's five of them and it'll show you uh, both captain's chairs and then the third row, who's not buckled in. So you can literally pinpoint exactly which of your kids is not buckled in in the back seat and say, hey, Timmy, buckle in. I know you're not, I can see it on the screen. So that's super convenient. The seat buckle alert system right there uh, on the screen. So number four, kind of in the same vein of the rear seats, but that is, and this one is actually hidden deep in the menu system, but you can actually put down the rear seats using the menu system without ever having to get out of the car. So how you find that is you go to setup, bear with me, setup, vehicle, scroll all the way down to seat, go to third seat back folding, press that, and then boom, you are given access to the left and the right seats. Currently they're folded up. So my options are to fold either of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just push that on both. You'll hear a beeping noise and then you'll hear as the seats fold down manually. Well, automatically. 
and you get a visual representation of that on the screen and it'll tell you, hey, they're folded down now and your only option will be to unfold them and you can do that as well. So go ahead and press unfold. You'll hear them beeping, it'll give you a visual representation on screen and those suckers will fold right back up to their current position. So super convenient, third seat back folding right there. Now, what I wish you could do is make this a button on the main screen so you didn't have to dig through the menu system to find it. But again, we are dealing with hidden features here. Now, number five is again hidden in the menu system, but super, super convenient. Now, you all may be aware of what a blue light filter is. Basically, it allows you to change the tint of your screen and make it easier on your eyes. So your phone has this already, whether you have an Android or an iPhone. Um, and some computers have them as well. Basically, when people spend a lot of time staring at screens, the blue light that our current uh, technology gives off is a little bit harsh on our eyes. It makes those things, when you stare at them for a long time, very uncomfortable to your eyes. Now, your car is no different, and I'm surprised it's taken this long for somebody to put it on there. But we drive around and we stare at that harsh blue light that our car gives off. You're on a 10 hour road trip, 12 hour road trip, and you drive through the night, you're staring at that thing all night not good for your eyes and it can be extremely uh, distracting it can be headaches all that kind of good stuff but there is a solution hyundai has it so if you go under setup you go to display and you've got illuminations so you can change the brightness level but you've got right under that use blue light filter so if i go ahead and check that it actually not only allows you to engage it but also to change it to your liking so you've got less warm so it's going to be more of a blue tint to the screen or more warm if it's really bothering you you can also have it activate on a schedule so have it go down at a certain time so let's say you're on a trip and you know the sun's going to go down at 6 30 you can engage that so the sun, it will turn on automatically at 6 30 to that more warm color versus the blue color it'll save you a headache a little bit of strain on your eyes and it's super nice that it's in there all right, guys, and those are the top five hidden features inside the 2020 Hyundai Palisade. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below which one's your favorite or did I miss one that you think is hidden in here? Let's have a conversation about it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see our full review of every 2020 Hyundai as soon as they hit our lots. We'll see you in the next one.